Good afternoon, everybody. This is X Mastali. And uh, actually, I just thought of doing this when I was almost done. So anyway, what I'm doing here is I have made Cornish hens. But what I've done with mine is I've put stuffing in them as I would a turkey. Same seasoning, same everything. Um, I've put the butter on for tenderizing. And actually what I was going to do now also is put a little salt on top for the browning. And as you can see, I use Morton Light Salt. Uh, I have a tendency to uh, contain water. And uh, besides, everyone, even even if you don't have any problems, uh, you shouldn't use that much salt anyway. You shouldn't use salt, period, really. But I know I'm a salt-free, too. So anyway, uh, did I do that? No, I didn't. So I'm going to add a little salt on the top for browning, actually. And I think I'll add a little pepper. I hate this thing. Nothing ever comes out of it. If I'm shaking the camera, sorry. <laughs> anyway, if you would like to know what's in my my um, stuffing, this time I have you. I had leftover bread. I'm trying to find the bag. It was, um, have you guys seen the bread, the Italian bread that um, Walmart has been selling for like a dollar? And here it is, I think. Oh, that's my salary bag. Um, one second, one second. We got the Cornish hens there. I'm trying to keep the camera on the hens, but it may not work. Um, I added a little sage because I did forget last time for Thanksgiving. Sorry, Trish. Well, it just seems like I cannot find a dang thing today. Alright, I don't know what I did with that bag, but, uh, it was one of those kind of breads that, uh, Italian cheese, you know, like when you go to Subway and you pick the bread you want. Yeah, that's what it was. So, anyway, I broke that up in pieces, and um, I seasoned it. I let it sit for a while. Still trying to find it, of course, because I'm that way. And uh, still can't find it. And probably won't. But anyway, so, yeah, I, I took pieces of that and broke up the bread, and then... Uh, what I did was um, I put the salt and the pepper, the garlic and the onion powder, and uh, garlic powder, garlic chips, onion chips, and uh, I, I put it on the bread and I let it sit for a while. Then, oh, uh, meat tenderizer too. And then um, while that was sitting, I fried up, I chopped up some celery and onion. I put a little bit of oil in the frying pan, and I let that saute for a while, uh, like on two or three on your, on your oven, and look at me. I do this all the time. That's terrible. I should remember. It's on low, and I needed to shut that off. Okay, so I had that on low, so it would more or less saute. And then... Uh, when that was done, I mixed it with the bread, okay? Then I put an egg in there. This is my stuffing I'm talking about now. And then I put a little bit of... Da -da -da. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. Da -da -da -da. Skim milk. That's what I drink. I like milk. Uh, hubby likes whole milk, but what are you going to do? So I buy whole milk for him. And I buy, look, you're getting up, <laughs> uh, free pictures of my kitchen. Okay, would you like to see my kitchen? Okay, there's my little Christmassy uh, cabinet doors. Uh, another one over here, another one over there. And uh, we have our two little ones over there. And we have stuff up there. 
And then of course we have stuff over here and then a candle in the window that has is drooping. And then um, I just picked this up the other day because Christmas Eve is at my sister-in-law Jerry's house. She's my BFF, of course. Uh, so was her mom. They're beautiful people. This is uh, for washing windows when I can't reach, you know, because I'm short. I'm like five foot two. And no, my eyes are brown. My eyes are blue. Okay, and then I have my Christmas cups up there and kiss the cook. And these are all my cards, but I fooled you. These are cards from over the years. Okay, the the cutest ones that I like uh, from special people. I have one up there from my mother uh, who passed in 2006, but I do still have that card. I have one from my mother-in-law and my BFF. Uh, she's up there and she passed away the same year. Uh, Mom passed April 2006 and she passed December 6th. Also St. Nicholas Day. and But I have that. Uh, this is a card my husband made on the computer when he first started learning the computer. Now he knows more than I do. Anyway, uh, and then of course we love Mickey Mouse. Well, I do. And my daughter does, by the way. My youngest daughter, she love, 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 lives Mickey Mouse. She has been to... Disneyland so many times. Anyway, and then of course I love angels and that little snowflake my sister-in-law made. And let's see, what else, what else, what else? And then I have some pictures of uh, a friend of mine's little two little girls. And this is my husband's cousin. And uh, they uh, actually are actors, uh, actor and actress. Uh, Diane and Chuck and those are her boys and they've, they've pulled them in a, a couple plays too and that's a tree from uh, my brother-in-law's brother's house and he makes cards that's from my Aunt Mitzi many moons ago um, let me see what else can I see what else can I see I think I have one here from my old boss and oh look at here this young man is my first grandson. That's right. And his uh, sister next to him on the left is Bree. And then, of course, in front, the little tiny one, is our Tatiana, who is now 15 years old today. And Bree is 13. And Ryan, who works for a, uh, the, the train depot or whatever, something about trains, uh, he's 24 years old now his own car and still and is, is a great little boy a uh, big boy very big six foot one or two or something bad lighting I'm, I'm being told okay so there you go these are all my old cards and for the door okay so I showed you that little tidbit and uh, we'll show you more Christmas stuff later but back to my Cornish hens now I read the directions and the directions say that it has to be an hour and 15 minutes per pound. That doesn't sound right to me for some reason, but uh, whatever they say is fine with me. Um, so this is going to go in for three hours, and then I'm going to check it. But I think I'm going to put foil paper over this one. It says not to, but who's the cook? Huh? Me, right? So, therefore, foil paper over these, and I need to uh, start up the oven and get it hot. Uh, what we're doing here is going to take this, my frying pans out, and I, I put them in here so I don't have to bend over for my cabinet. Okay, and uh, the bending is very hard for me still. And there's, see, look, I still have my grabber. And that helps. And we are now going to turn, oh, excuse me, turn this bugger on. I think it was 350 or was it 325? Oh, look, there's all my grandkids. 
and my daughters. I think my son's there. Yeah, this is uh, probably 1994 or 5. Uh, Missy on the right, on the bottom. She looks about 18. She was born in 80, so oh, 98, 97. This is probably. There's my first grandson. He's the one that named me Nani. And there's my daughter, Trisha, Night Owl Mama, so as some of you know. My oldest son, Tony, before he was married, before all these people were married. Uh, no, no, Trisha was divorced by then. And there's Robert, my youngest son, as my, my mother would call him, Rocco. And there's Bree. And these are all my other grandkids that I keep on my refrigerator. Isn't that cool? There's my youngest one, and there's my foxy night owl mama, and she cute. And there's my foxy, well, she shouldn't have been so foxy. She was only 16 there. That's my youngest one, Melissa, who is studying to be a nurse. And there's my Ryan again. Isn't he adorable? Oh, yes. See? Nana loves me. That's me, Nana. Okay, so whatever. Uh, I will be back with a picture of the finished product. So there you have it. Cornish hens. Broken bread. Spice it. Let it sit. A dribble of uh, skim milk. One egg. Uh, spices. Garlic powder. Onion powder. Salt and pepper. Uh, half salt as, as I showed you. Uh, garlic chips. And I said onion powder, right? And I let it sit, and then I fried up celery and one onion, and that was five stalks, five pieces of celery from one stalk. Chopped up, fried up, put it with the bread. Oh, and one special thing. I put a little water here, and I'll show you if I can see. Oh, here it is. Get out of the way. That's bread. You see this right here? What that is, is a chicken bouillon cube. I have one on the other side somewhere. And the reason I put that in, because later I'm going to make gravy, and those bouillon cubes make it tasty. So, there you have it. Two Cornish hens cooked by Axmas Donnelly. Happy holidays, everyone, and ho, ho, ho. Have a good day.